The president of one of the most vocal and active and focused abortion rights organizations in the country has announced that after eight years, she is stepping down at the end of this year. She is NARAL president Nancy Keenan. She says, quote, Roe versus Wade is 40 in January. It's time for a new leader to come in and basically be the person for the next 40 years of protecting reproductive choice. Joining us tonight for her first interview since making this announcement late last week is Nancy Keenan. She's president of NARAL Pro-Choice America. Nancy, thank you for being here. Hey, my pleasure. Thanks for having me. Me, so tell me, tell me more about the decision um, to step down now. You are giving people a lot of notice. You're stepping down after the election at the beginning of next year. Um, why have you decided to do it and to do it with this message? Yes. Well, you know, there's two things a leader can give an organization. One is the hard work, the dedication, the passion, the, the commitment, and the heart and soul in doing the job. And the second thing is to know when it's time for someone else to build on the accomplishments of the organization and for the next generation to tell their stories of choice for the next 5, 10, 15 years. And like you said, I'm going to be around for the 2012 election. I wouldn't miss that for love nor money to help reelect Barack Obama and of course build on our pro-choice champions um, that we have in the House and the Senate. In terms of um, that generational divide, I am the same age as Roe versus Wade. I was born in April 1973. The decision was January, mm -hmm. right? So three months, it's three months older than me. That means that everybody my age and younger grew up with abortion rights being technically guaranteed nationwide in this country. Do you feel like having somebody of my generation and younger is going to make a material difference in how this fight is fought? Well, I think it's about the future. And, you know, look, my generation was the generation that fought that our daughter and our granddaughters would not have to worry about this. And yet what we've learned over this time is that you always have to be vigilant. And so for me, the next generation stepping into this position are going to tell their own stories, their own stories about their lives, their experiences, not looking back at the anniversary of Roe being 40, but actually looking forward and say, what is it about our generation now that has to lead to protect this right? And I think it all came home around the fight on, on contraception, mm -hmm. where it became real. It became real. Now, um, for me and for NARAL Pro-Choice America, um, it's, it's just a wonderful opportunity to connect to the millennial generation. These are that 18 to 30-year-old um, who are, by 2020, going to be 40% of the voting population in this country. So it's a tipping point for this issue to really talk about the stories of that generation moving forward. This, this, the sun, I will be frank with you. I feel like the sunny side of this is that for you to be stepping aside from this position specifically to make room for younger women leadership in this field, I think is sort of selfless and, and farsighted and I think is right about the politics in terms of where your advocacy position is strongest. On the other hand, this is the greatest assault on abortion rights. We are in the middle of the greatest assault on abortion rights since Roe versus Wade. And that's not hyperbole, it's really numerically evident. You are the most experienced leader in, this, in the country on this issue. Mm -hmm. Is this a good time for fresh blood? Well, well I'm telling you they're there now. Yeah. We have wonderful young leaders there now. So it's not like waking up in the morning and expecting somebody to show up. There are young women now poised and have been fighting for this issue, but poised now to take that reign of leadership in a very different capacity. And again, I want to go back to the stories, Rachel, because it couldn't be me sitting in front of that panel of Congress talking about birth control and really making uh, the, the, the impact that Sandra Fluke did. Mm -hmm. And so it is the face of the future. It is the face of the next generation and the stories that have to be told about the impact on their lives now, not on the lives 40 years ago, their lives today and the importance of being vigilant. Do you think that the next year is going to be as um, successful? for the uh, anti-choice, anti-abortion side as this last year was? Do you think that it's waning? I know you are from Montana. I know mm -hmm. there's a great conservative, small-c conservative libertarian tradition, even in Montana, Republican mm -hmm. politics. Do you see the Republican side dividing on this at all, or do you think they're going to continue these strides? Well, I think the American public's going to speak, and I don't care if it's at the, the you know, at the courthouse and the white, to the white House level. I think the American public shares the values of freedom and privacy, and I think they've seen the assault on women this, this past year. And they have said enough. And that voice is going to be heard at the ballot box, I think, in November. And so whether it's the importance of having a pro-choice president in Barack Obama, whether it's the importance of having um, leaders in the House and the Senate that literally have stopped some of this insanity that came out of the House, or whether it's having a governor like we do in Montana who vetoed uh, this absolutely obnoxious legislation, that's the importance of connecting.
connecting the personal to the political, that we have to vote our values. And I have great faith uh, in this next generation of millennials um, that they will connect the personal to the political. Nancy Keenan, the president of NARAL Pro-Choice America through the end of this year. Uh, thank you for joining us tonight. A lot of people have been very curious about your decision, and it's nice to, to hear it from you. Thanks. Thank Appreciate you. It.